Go Nichiwa, Mina Zizakura, and you're watching Pocket Cons. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a Switch game, and that is Doom. This, of course, is the 1993 version. It's a game that I like to pick up on every console I can because I enjoy it so much. Be fun to see how well it works on the Switch and have another way to play the game. As always, Tim has played the game first time playing game of version of and the called Skippy Thing. Let's get the timer started. Timer's been started and away we go. I will do that later. Okay, new game. Okay. Hurt me plenty. <gasps> oh, dude! Motion sensor. That's gonna be whack. Of course, if you don't like that, you can instantly use the uh, the stick as well. I like that. At least that way, while you're playing, you can use a stick to get a better advantage. Oh, crap. And then you can use motion sensor to just turn it uh, real quick, like. Okay. Okay. I already you. Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh crap. Thank you. Jeez, man. Die you Good Death was your only friend Might as well get some energy back after I lost it all Oh thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you there we go. Failed epically. I got none of the secrets and barely any of the items. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't want to use that just yet. Whoa! Yep, okay. There's like, you took our shotgun, man! Not cool! You're not allowed to have a shotgun! Back off, eh? It's my shotgun now, you numbs. <gasps> what the heck? Okay, there it goes. Another one. Thank you. Okay, got that. No. You're dead. I know by now I should have like the game memorized. Okay. 
Okay. Pick those up and. Okay. Now I was on that side. Let's go over here. Get all my ammo. And I'll put up red key door. Yeah, man, disintegration. That was beautiful. That's right. This water hurts me. Okay. Pick up some more clips. Well, hello, friends. Whoa! Die, you numb. <gasps> oh, yeah. If only. Come on. Uh, but there was just... I doubt this will work. Yeah, it didn't work. Oh, well. I can hear zombie man. Hmm. Oh, hello, zombie man. Oh, crap. Leave me alone. Okay. You can go die. Nice, got two of them with one shot. That is so weird using the motion sensor, but it works. Okay. No one that's not where I wanted to go. Hmm. Oh, hello. Goodbye. that way. Whoa! Sweet! That did not sound good. Yay! I have achieved excellence now. Come forth, evil ones. Meet the meat. I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything to say. All right. 
Go through this door, and nothing here. Oh, come on, you cannot tell me I got, I've actually got lost here. Oh, crap, okay. I was too busy having fun finding the chainsaw. And there goes the timer. <laughs> okay, that was fun. <laughs> All right, so oh, we got quick saving. Oh, I love it. They're doing that like that. The biggest thing is, of course, the uh, motion sensor. It at first messes with you, to be honest. Because, you know, you got it for you can do this real quick. And then you use uh, your analog stick as well to adjust it. So, we got that. And it it really does mess with you because you're not used to that. But at the same time, it works uh, nicely when you get used to it. But... That's like the only real major new thing, and then you have the, uh, you know, the quick saves and all that, which I think is in the other versions as well. Like I said, it's one of those games that I like getting each version if I possibly can, just because it's so much fun. It's a classic game, and I enjoy it. If I will, you know, if I'll be able to uh, get the platinum on uh, the PS4 on this game, uh, probably not. No, no way. Because it's uh, very difficult for me. I'm not the best at this game at all. I can do it on, you know, certain difficulties. But after that, it's like, hmm, hmm, you know, type thing. I believe you. I will be careful, type thing. But, yeah, it's just, it's such a classic that I really do enjoy playing it whenever I get the opportunity. And having it on multiple different uh, platforms is a joy because, you know, why not? So my question for you guys is, when it comes to multiple platform releases, do you go out of your way to buy um, each version? Or do you just find one version and that's the one you play? For me, I definitely go for multi-versions if possible because there's a lot of really fun opportunities that can happen. And I enjoy it. I love seeing what new little features are thrown in there, what is given, and that's why I like to do it. Because sometimes you have, you know, excellent versions like a good example would be Soul Calibur. Depending on which version you bought, was depending on who you got. So the Xbox came with Spawn, PS2 came with Hayachi, and then of course GameCube came with Link. And I think that's uh, one of the best examples of knowing what the console variants could have. Now, I know they tried it again, that they had the Xbox with a Yoda and the PlayStation 3 with Darth Vader. And people, of course, were like, <gasps> but then we can't have them fighting each other. It's like, yeah, it wasn't the point. It was a point to be one gets one and the other gets the other. Quit crying, you ninnies. We'll never buy your game again. Here's a DLC. Are you guys happy? Yes, we are happy now. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh my gosh. But, you know, seriously, yeah, there's there's always something uh, fun to see. Because when we do get the exclusive characters in it, another good example would be, um, I think it was uh, Backstreet Ball or Street Basketball. I forget what it's called. But the the basketball the, the version for the GameCube actually had Mario characters in it that was exclusive to the uh, GameCube only, of course. But I don't think that the other versions had any special characters that were in there um, for the, the versions that came out. So it was sad to, to see that only the GameCube got something, but still it makes it fun that when they actually understand that and do something with it. Another good uh, console exclusive thing was, of course, Twin Snakes. When you went inside, you know, one of the control rooms, there was Mario figures um, there, and it's like it was just a nice little nod. You're on the GameCube, 
And also, of course, you know, in Psycho Manus reads your GameCube uh, memory card. Super creepy, yeah. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments below. What would you guys think? This is Tisa Kura saying ciao and sayonara.